Uh, good morning. Before I rush for work, today I will take a, a quick review of the market. Now, first look at the daily chart, and it's lined. It's in line with my earlier prediction that we followed it to move crowd and go to the downside. And so this ghastly pattern was confirmed to be very valid. The daily chart of the astrology. And uh, yesterday we have the Mercury squared Pluto, and that is actually not good for the market. No, that means that today Mercury was square with Pluto, and yesterday we got a a uh, few days ago there's uh, Mercury on the moon and now and also today we will have the new moon, so that means a new cycle, and then either up or down, but the Possibility of down is very high now. And that a four hour chart, it is a very complicated uh, Andrews pitchfork analysis. You can see the heat tree. There is a bullish, there is a bearish trend, I mean a bearish fork, and there is a, this is called a, now, it's most of the time, the 80% of the chance will go along with the median line, you know. But after uh, in a certain time, but it's around 23rd March, the price broke and out to the upside and that means that uh, it violated the fork and we're on the bullish side. But then there's uh, another swing down. When the up the right the swing down it means that for another kind of bearish fork and uh, the median line what's here would it follow this means that according to Andrews 80% uh, of the chance that a project go back to the median line and now we can see the short term fork here and uh, two lines overlap the median line and the upper line of this fork uh, both coins coincide together so it's very, very likely that with the price will follow this line. And this is the signal line here, a trigger line. But I mean, if the price broke above this trigger line, then it could be going to the upside, but the chance is not high now. And where is the target for my bearish position? Yesterday, I made a very risky decision that I cancel my stop loss here otherwise I would have stopped out here and I got nothing for my uh, investment for this time. The target I would uh, keep up with the Fibonacci just mean that for this upswing it's very likely they will stop somewhere at uh, 38.2 or 50 percent and according to the time Fibonacci here's somewhere here okay so the profit target could be either here or here somewhere, okay? That depends. So I made a short here. It's my, what I started with my bearish position and I yesterday I add one more unit to it. So it's, uh, if I really stop here, then I could have uh, quite a splendid profit. And now we see the Another analysis on the bullish fork, and that is the signal line, a trigger line, and now we can uh, clearly say that if it is continued to be on the bullish side uh, by that time on the March 24th, then uh, it will more most likely that will follow this trend. I mean, this the median line, but unfortunately it didn't, and so it, now it broke over the trigger line. So the chance of continue to be on the downside much higher than going to the upside. Okay, I made the final uh, area count. Uh, okay, wait a little because I'm really rushing for my work. Not a motive. One, two, three, four, five. So the five wave down and then uh, two wave up. Okay, and that is uh, edit motive Y. I'm ah, sorry. Oh. Object idiot corrective wave A B 
see, and now it's it resuming to the downtrend. That's so that is the motive wave object. Elliot motive. One, two, three, four, five. It's most likely something like that. It means it's done down downside and uh, line down line. A shape and a line. No, no, okay. It means most likely it's a bit all the way here. Okay. Okay, that's for today, and I can. Uh, Quite sure that the dog can continue to go to the downside. Again, I was a bit lucky yesterday. I made a very risky decision to cancel my stop loss, and so when the price hit my original position, I I didn't stop out. Otherwise, I would stop it, and I move uh, stop loss to much higher now. So a tight stop is actually not good for trading. You have to be a bit brave, and you have to. Con uh, to be confident on your own analysis, okay. Although price, many people say it's random, uh, but that is kind of ra random walk theory, and I I don't know, but I do believe in the in the force of the nature, okay. The Fibonacci, the astrology, it may be considered to be superstitious in the beginning, but I now I get more and more faith in it, and that uh, of course you don't have to rely too much on that. You still have to respect. The price itself, it can be walk anyway, but uh, it's also not too good to have to have a too tight stop. Okay, that's what for today. Thank you.